Hello and welcome to this Garrett Coleman training presentation on how to hide the passwords you have in your 6K configuration and script files. Okay, for this video we're actually going to open up Putty and we, go, we are going to make a Telnet connection into the switch. The switch has a default IP address and bring up the Telnet connection. Unfortunately this uh, particular feature can only be done at the command line. It's not available in the GUI. So if we log into the switch using the default username and password. Okay, so if we enter the command show secrets, this will tell us whether or not the passwords will be visible or whether or not the passwords will be hidden. Now it's important to note at this point that if I go show config, and we view the configuration file on the switch itself, uh, the password will always be hidden. You can't actually read the configuration, the password from the configuration file on the switch. If I cancel that and go show config and then specify the script version, which is the more detailed version of the configuration file, and scroll down to the section on user accounts, again we can see the user account we just logged in with was manager and the password was manager but again here we can see it's always hidden so whenever you view the configuration files on the switch you'll see that the passwords will always be hidden which is good because we want those passwords to be protected we don't want anyone to be reading what other people's username and passwords are now however if I open up uh, my file transfer program and I basically do a TFTP session when you put this command and we do a TFTP uh, get output and we want to specify the type to be config and the IP address to be the IP address of my laptop and specify the file name to be uh, James123 config so yes to that, and that's been done. Now if we go to the file on the laptop which we just sent, you can see here it's been sent. So we go to the directory where these files are stored, and we open this up, and we have a look at the file we just sent across, which is James config123, here it is. And we open that up. Just select uh, notepad from the list of programs. And here we are, this is the configuration file which is viewed uh, on the um, PC. So we can clearly see here that the, the, the password is in clear text. So uh, we've got a user account here called James and the password is James as well. So we can clearly see the password here. So what we're going to do now is it will be exactly the same if I quickly show you what it would look like for the script version. So if we do the same command but ex instead of sending the config file we'll specify the script file and go across oh, didn't need to do that, bear with me one second okay so here we change the type again to script from config to script and we change the file name as well so if we just enter that command, press return yes we want to send the file and off it goes to the uh, laptop here and if I bring up the file transfer you can see it's been sent across if I just close down this directory and go back and have a look inside again, we can see James config script and we open this up. Again, selecting notepad from the list. If we scroll down to the user section, again here, it's as you can see, the, the script version of the configuration file is much more detailed. And again, we see the same information again. The user account James has the password James. So everybody if they get hold of this can see what password everybody else has which is clearly not necessarily a good idea in most situations so what we're going to do is we're going to encrypt these passwords so if we close down the uh, files we don't actually need this program anymore I just wanted to show you how you could see those passwords in clear text so we close that down go back to putty and go back to the command line and if we go go back to the command show secrets we can see that secrets will be visible and all we need to do is to encrypt these passwords is just type in the command set space 
secrets with an S, not secret but secrets, and follow that command with a, sh uh, a hide. So the options are show and hide, so here if I go hide and then go show secrets, secrets will be hidden. And the other option would be of course to reverse that would be show set secrets and show and then go show secrets. So that's how to uh, alternate between the two options. Obviously we want to go back and we want to hide those passwords and of course we want to save those changes. Okay so now what we're going to do is I will actually open up again quickly the uh, TFTP uh, server so we can see what it looks like. If you bear with me one second. Okay so I've reopened the TFTP server and I've re-entered the command TFTP put type equals script, the IP address and then the file name. And the one final difference I'm going to make is I'm going to add on to the end of the name um, hidden. Send that across. Yes I want to send it. Here we can see it's been sent. Wait for that to clear. And then go to show directory, explore and let's have a look at the file we just sent. So this is the original version if we just say uh, open with notepad and we scroll down we can see once again that James, the user account James has the password James close that down. If we have a look at the new version with the uh, encryption enabled and we go down we can see that the user account James has the password of password. So it's applying the same level of protection that we got by default at the command line to any files which are sent to a server. And that's how to use uh, to hide passwords when using configuration and script files with a 6K switch. So uh, I hope this has been interesting, I hope it's been helpful, and on behalf of Garrettcom, I'd like to thank you for your time. Goodbye.